Hello everybody. Uh, so a couple of fellows asked me about um, some tips regarding the neonatal uh, long ultrasound. I have a little nice presentation. Um, uh, I'm gonna show it to you in this uh, video uh, in a nutshell. So uh, yeah, uh, if you like it uh, and if you find it uh, useful, that's um, uh, good and I hope uh, it helps. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about the long ultrasound in neonates and obviously this is an introduction for that only. Uh, not a lot of physics, we have two um, patterns of line you need to recognize. The first one is A line, uh, if it helps you to remember A stands for awesome. So these lines or the A lines are the good ones, That's, uh, th those lines um, are the ones you want to see. B lines not as good as they uh, reflect or they indicate wet lung so b for uh, stands for uh, bad uh, some technical stuff the probe you want to use is, is the linear probe um, and this is as opposed to the other probes like curvy linear probe for example so we use the linear probe um, which is available in most of the units and preferably uh, um, it needs to be the high frequency one uh, we usually divide the lung into four regions, as you can see on the figure, from R1 to R4 on the right side and from L1 to L4 on the left side. We have a few patterns of uh, the lung ultrasound that we see. The first one is the uh, well aerated lung or uh, the normal uh, lung. You can see the white uh, line here uh, below the ribs. Uh, this is basically the air fluid interface in the pleural um, uh, space uh, and this is how you see it it's basically uh, uh, sliding uh, you see the sliding sign here it's basically the two layers of pleura sliding on each other and this is very reassuring you can see also the uh, a lines here uh, pay attention that a lines they have the same distance uh, between each uh, other so from uh, here to here is the same as from here to here uh, so this is normal. The second pattern is uh, the wet lung. So this vertical line here is that extends from here all the way to the bottom. Uh, this is what we call the B line. You see a few of them. Uh, this means wet lungs and you see not a lot of A lines. This is consistent with uh, TTN and this is what you see on the uh, uh, ultrasound. See sliding pleura, no pneumothorax, and the B line. Sometimes if it's severe enough, they uh, fuse uh, with each other like this, and this is what you see basically. So sliding pleura, but no A line, maybe a tiny bit that showed here, and lots of uh, 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 fused B lines. <clears throat> this is what you see in BBD, so sick lung here, not very well aerated, and thickened uh, pleura, with a little bit of crumbled appearance this is this could be consistent with a uh, peripheral uh, collapse and a delactosis um, so for uh, TTN I just want you to pay attention to this uh, important uh, sign so this is a well aerated lung you can see um, uh, a lines here sliding pleura versus here wet lung not a lot of a line this is what we call double point uh, lung um, <clears throat> this is severe TTN, this is what you see. Uh, next one is the RDS, it's a little bit uh, different, you see more um, uh, wet lung, basically not very well aerated lung and the pleura could be also uh, thickened and, and inflamed, kind of similar to uh, BBD pattern. What we see in pneumothorax as we talked about the uh, pleura this is a normal uh, area here you see the pleura sliding here which is uh, normal versus this area the pleura here is not sliding uh, see the difference so here is the pneumothorax and here is the uh, uh, normal uh, uh, area and you can drain the you can direct the needle and drain the air directly here um, you can put an M mode as well uh, uh, if you suspect pneumothorax. Uh, so if you put the M mode, 
uh, you're gonna see the barcode sign as you see here so basically uh, those lines are a reflection uh, of the um, Aplora here um, versus the normal pattern uh, um, on M mode it, you see it as a, a granular or sand like uh, appearance here uh, now the other thing which is important is uh, is a collapse versus um, pneumonia so sometimes you get this x-ray a baby with chronic lung disease cystic changes as you can see on the x-ray and you see this area is this a collapse is this a pneumonia it's hard to say most of the people I would say on x-ray they will judge it as a, a collapse and basically this is if you would do ultrasound if you ultrasound it this is what you're gonna see so you see this black area here um, uh, and it looks like the stars in the sky but the stars are static not moving that much uh, this is more consistent with collapse versus this area here on the right side so you can see how the uh, those stars are moving this is more consistent with um, uh, pneumonia this is what we call the dynamic air bronchogram uh, basically uh, those black or those white uh, dots um, those are gas bubbles moving in and out the air bronchogram that's why we call them uh, we call this sign uh, um, a dynamic air bronchogram and this is what we see in pneumonia uh, versus in here um, uh, this uh, was more uh, like static appearance of that area and this is more consistent with the collapse sometimes it's honestly uh, difficult to uh, differentiate uh, but basically if I get this appearance I would uh, optimize my uh, uh, map mean air pressure versus here I would start an antibiotic uh, now <clears throat> Pleural effusion, of course, um, it's easily detected using the ultrasound, and obviously this is a huge uh, effusion. You can see it above the liver. This is the liver, and this is the black area here is the um, uh, effusion. Uh, this here is a little bit of, or not a little bit, actually some debris in the effusion, and this is what it looks like the jellyfish. So this is what's actually called jellyfish sign. Uh, the next thing that we can uh, check by lung ultrasound is uh, diaphragmatic excursion. Uh, basically, you, you want to see how um, uh, much the diaphragm is moving up and down. Uh, you need the M mode, you apply it, and you can see the uh, excursion of the diaphragm. Uh, so the diaphragm is moving up and down. Uh, if it's moving uh, one centimeter or, or more uh, up and down, it means that's normal versus if it's not moving uh, more than one centimeter between the respiration um, it means it's not moving that much and this could indicate uh, that a pragmatic um, uh, paresis <clears throat> even ATT position we can uh, uh, um, assess that by using the ultrasound so it's based on um, uh, the fact that the aortic arch is above or the aorta arch is uh, above the uh, left main stem here so the <clears throat> and that the ET tube will be coming uh, down the trachea this way so uh, it should be above the aorta by one centimeter so this is the arch and this is the tube coming down from here uh, in the trachea so the distance between the tip and the the tip of the ET tube and the uh, arch should be one to two centimeter not more than that meaning high ETT tube uh, or lower than that meaning uh, deep uh, ETT tube <clears throat> we have um, we're not gonna um, talk about uh, details about the scoring but pretty much uh, if, uh, it goes from zero which is a good thing in a normal lung to all the way to three which is basically a uh, sick lung uh, and we score each uh, region uh, uh, in the lung using this uh, scale so one more thing I just want to refer you to um, this workshop or conference that was done uh, back in February on February 13 and 14 in uh, France um, this is the second time they do this conference uh, was done for the first time last year and um, apparently from the feedback I heard it's um, one of the best best workshop 
um, you can get uh, you can do for uh, to learn uh, lung ultrasound there was a lot of uh, research uh, that was presented in there as well you can scroll down and see the agenda and um, yeah, I, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to go last year or this year, uh, but I'm planning to go next year. So see you there if you're uh, uh, planning to go. Uh, so yeah, please uh, check it out. And um, uh, at the bottom here, uh, there is a little talk from um, uh, Professor uh, 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 Daniel DeLuca, who's uh, apparently a big name um, or one of the biggest name in, uh, in this field, uh, neonatal uh, lung ultrasound. Um, so yeah, uh, it should be fine. It should be uh, pretty good to uh, uh, attend. Um, yeah, so uh, and that's it. And that's it. And thank you very much.